Okay guys, Big Flick here and today I'm repairing one of my own items. This is my set of computer multimedia speakers. The brand is a Genius, G-E-N-I-U-S, multimedia speaker system model SPHF1800A. This is actually a very nice set of computer speakers. It had very good quality in terms of the build quality, good weight to it, good sound, uh, pretty much everything that you wanted, but I will say I've only owned it two and a half years now, although it has been on 24-7 during that period of time, but for a modern piece of electronics, that's not a lot of time. It has developed a problem today. I was just doing some other work, and all of a sudden the unit started to hum, so I mean, I already know what's wrong with it. It's pretty simple. Generally, you're talking capacitors, but I'll fire it up here and show you what the current symptoms are, and then I'll show you the obvious problem to it. So let me go ahead and take the camera and put it close to it, and I'll turn it on, and hopefully you'll be able to hear the hum. Now I'll turn it off. So as you see, or as you hear, it has developed a low level hum. It sounds like it's either probably 120 hertz, possibly 60 hertz. Sounds more like 120. That's generally a filter capacitor. And I've already opened up the back screws, which the unit had a series of wood screws in the back here. It was just a series of these small self tappers and if you slide the back open here you'll see it's pretty nice neat design here. It's a pretty nice layout but if you look here you will see the obvious bulging and some juice leaking out of the main filter capacitor here in the power supply. So that value I've already looked, it's a 4700 microfarad at 25 volt. I happen to have a quality Nichicon that I got at a closeout at Radio Shack about seven or eight years ago. But these are very good quality. This is a 4700 mic at 35 volt perfect replacement a little bigger but there's plenty of room in here to have this out a little bit if I have to so I'm going to go ahead and replace this now but as part of this I will check all of these other electrolytics because they're probably of questionable quality also and anything that tests high ESR I'll just go ahead and replace it now Okay, I want to show you guys what the ESR of a quality capacitor is. Now, it's going to change depending on the value of the capacitor, but for this is a quality 4700 microfarad Nichicon, and you're looking at almost a dead short in terms of the ESR. Okay, while I'm in here, I found another problem. There's some extremely bad solder joints on the power diodes. Right where my thumb is you can see what looks to be completely hollow solder joints and you would think that's actually where the filter capacitor was just taken out. But in fact I'm trying to get a good shot of that here on the camera so that you could see right where that thumb area is. But when you look it is in fact where the power diodes are right there so I'll have to fix those connections too in fact I'll just pull the diodes all the way out shine them up and put them back in okay so we're back again and I installed the new filter capacitor as you see it's 
it's a higher quality capacitor it's a little larger handled a little more voltage so it does stick up a little further but it's totally irrelevant there's plenty of room here I also had to fix the solder joints on two of these diodes but in addition to that I went ahead and resoldered all four diodes in two other connections under the uh, magnifying glass looked a little bit questionable so I went ahead and touched those up too so now we should have a good connection and we're going to put it back together okay it's reassembled and I'm going to turn it on now and you will see that it is just absolutely perfectly quiet in fact I think it's better than when it was brand new so let's flick it on volume is completely up and there's no audible noise whatsoever I mean not even the slightest of hum so we'll call that a successful repair Okay, the defective capacitor was right here. It was a KSC brand, which that's obviously just some Chinese no-name product. It was a 4700 mic at 25 volt. You can see that it was swelling pretty bad on the top. And there was a little bit of leakage that had come out. So this was the culprit, but also there were bad solder joints around the power diodes, so those would have to be fixed also. Thanks for watching. Bye.